Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I will be creating a simple game called the word guessing game. In this game there is a list of words. One word will be chosen randomly from our program. The user will be asked to guess a letter in the randomly chosen word. If the randomly chosen word contains that letter then it will be shown as output. Else the program will let the user know they were wrong. The user will have a limited amount of turns to guess every letter in the word. If the user guesses every letter in the word in the allotted turns, then the user wins the game, else the user loses. Now before we begin, if you like the videos on this channel, then be sure to click that subscribe and like button, and to be notified about new videos from this channel, hit that bell notification. Alright, so I'm currently on... Google's website is called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it easy to start programming in Python so all you have to do is go to this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code so to get started writing this code go ahead and click on file then click on new notebook and a new tab open up for you and then eventually a new cell and in this cell I'm gonna put in a description and comments about the program so I'm just gonna type this is a word guessing game Okay, and then I'm going to create a new cell by clicking this code button in the top left. And now in this cell, I'm going to import the library that I plan on using throughout this program. So I'm going to import random. And then I'm going to run this cell by clicking this button here to the left. And this will let me know if I made any mistakes. And of course, it will run that library for me. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. And now in this cell, I'm going to create a list of words to choose from for the user to guess. All right, so let's create this words list. I'm going to call it words. I'm going to set it equal to a empty list at first. And let's input some words here, like computer. Let's input science. How about programmer? and Python and developer and geeks let's do YouTube and mathematics and one more we'll put in basketball okay so we have our list of words there. Let's go ahead and run this cell and create a new cell. And now let's randomly choose one of the listed words. One of, okay. So I'm gonna create a variable called word and set it equal to random.choice. And we're gonna choose one of those random words. All right, so just input words there. So let's run this. Actually, let's take a look at words. Let's show words or show word. So just type word here and let's run this. And we're going to show it just for testing purposes. So we can see it says geeks here. Yep, geeks. So let's go ahead and run this again. And that says computer. Let's run this again. Geeks, geeks, mathematics, geeks mathematics, science, so you see how it works. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. And now in this cell, I'm going to create n underscores. Yeah, n underscores to represent character spaces. All right, so one underscore for each character in the randomly chosen word. So let's go ahead and create a variable called spaces and set it equal to this underscore times the length of word. Okay, so this should create one, two, three, four, five underscores. So let's show spaces. All right, so just type spaces here and run this. Okay, and we see one, two, three, four, five spaces or underscores. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. 
and now we're going to create a function and this function will one find all of the letter positions from the user's guess okay and the user's guess will be some character and then two if the letter exists in the word then this function will replace the underscores and spaces with the correct letter or letters in that in that position or positions all right because it could be that we have one that the user guesses one letter and the word contains multiple multiples of that letter okay so let's go ahead and create that function I'm gonna call it get underscore letter underscore position it's gonna take in the users guess that's gonna be some character it's gonna take in our random word and then it's gonna take in spaces as well okay and now I'm going to create and set a variable called index to be negative 2 so I'm gonna create a variable called index and set it equal to negative 2 and I'm doing this because I want to get the position of of the character within the word and I know that the the function that I plan on or method that I plan on using will return either a negative one or zero or higher okay so it's gonna be some number between negative one and some positive integer value so they're all gonna be uh, integers so I know it will never be negative two so this is just me setting this because again I know that index will never be negative two all right and it's gonna help me with this loop that I'm about to create so I'm gonna create a loop to to continue to look through the word for every single position that that letter exists in all right so for example again we can have multiple letters within this word and we're just gonna find every single position where that letter exists all right so hopefully that wasn't too complicated let's go ahead and continue I'm gonna create a while loop so while index does not equal negative one and it doesn't right now because we set it to negative two I'm going to check if check if the character or guess is in word if it is then remove the character from the word and add it to spaces all right okay so let's go ahead and do this check so if guess is in word and again remember that guess is just going to be some character right so if the character is in the word anywhere in the word then I want to find where that letter is in the word so I'm going to set index equal to word dot find guess so this will allow me to get the index or the position that that letter is at within the word it's going to give me the first position all right okay so next I want to remove that letter from the word so I'm going to create some character that's just going to be basically a placeholder uh, to let me know that that character was removed so I'm going to create a variable called removed underscore character and I'm going to set it equal to this star character all right so this is my special character to indicate that the character was removed from the word okay and then I want to replace that character with this star so to do that I just set word equal to word 
and then put the colon and then index and then we're going to append removed removed underscore character and we're going to append this to the rest of the word so word from index plus one on one word okay all right so that looks good and then we want to add the character to spaces in the proper spot so to do that just type spaces and then put in index and set this equal to guess all right so else else the character or guess was not in the word then we're going to set index equal to negative one to end this while loop okay and then I want to return word and spaces all right because now they've been updated okay so that's it for this function let's go ahead and run this let's create a new cell all right and now in this cell I'm going to create another function so I'm going to create a function to check if the user guessed all of the letters in the word so I'm going to use one I'm going to use one for yes they did guess all of the the letters in this word and I'm going to choose negative one for no saying that they did not guess all of the letters in the word all right so let's go ahead and call this function win underscore check and we're not going to take in any parameters and I'm going to loop through spaces and if an underscore exists then the user didn't guess the word and if we basically don't see any underscores in spaces then we know that the user has guessed the word okay so for I in range 0 to the length of spaces if spaces at position I if it is an underscore so basically I'm asking or I'm trying to figure out if an underscore exists anywhere in spaces and again if it does then I'm going to return negative one to say that no the user has not guessed all of the letters in the word because there's still an underscore in spaces otherwise in spaces will be the the word right there will be no underscores because we've replaced the underscores with the letter at the proper position okay and let's see if it goes through that loop without ever without ever going into this if statement then it will go here and I will return one saying that we never found any underscores in spaces so yes um, yes uh, the winner wins okay so let's go ahead and run this and let's create a new cell okay so now we can actually kinda start the game so first let's choose some number of turns for the user to guess the word so I'm going to create a variable called num underscore turns I'm going to set it equal to the length of word and you can choose any number here that you want and then I'm going to loop through the number of turns so for I in range 0 to num underscore turns I want to ask the user for for a guess or I'm going to ask the user to guess a character so I'm going to create a variable called guess and set it equal to input we're going to ask the user to guess a character okay and we're going to get that input alright so if the guess is in word 
so that character is in the word then we are going to update word and we're going to update spaces so I'm going to create a variable called I'm not create I'm going to set word and set spaces equal to our function that we created get underscore letter underscore position and we're going to input guess word and spaces all right so again this is our function that we created and remember that we're, we are going to be returning the updated word and the updated spaces okay so then I want to print spaces and this right here will allow me to to show the letter at the proper position to the user okay else the word is I'm sorry else the guess is not in the word so I'm going to print sorry that letter is not in the word okay now it's time to check if the player uh, check if the player guessed the word so if when underscore check equals one then I'm going to print congratulations you won and then I'm going to break out this loop otherwise we will print you have you have some number of turns left num underscore turns minus i turns left and then I will print a new line okay so I think that's it let's go ahead and run this and hopefully everything works out so right now the word is geeks and of course you don't want to show this to the user right nor the spaces right away so you might not want to print these two things all right so let's go back down here the word is geeks so I'm gonna say that this word probably has the letter E in it and we know it does right so we can see the G would go here then we have E E the K would go here and S would go here it tells me I have five turns left it looks like I need to put a space here and I go ahead and do that now and let's just stop it and let's rerun this and it should still already have that E there because we haven't we haven't recreated our spaces or word so I'm just gonna put E here again okay now it says sorry that letter is not in the word that's because we already guessed E so let's do this let's just stop this for now let's click on runtime run all okay and now let's look at our new word which is science all right so let's go back down here let's put in that letter E again all right, so we can see S C I E N C E, right? Let's put in N, and also it tells us now we have seven turns left. All right, so I'm gonna put in N. Okay, and let's put in a letter that we know is not in science, like X. Okay, it says sorry, that letter is not in the word. You have five turns left. All right, let's just go ahead and finish this. So put S, then C, then I. Okay, and we can see that the game has ended. It says, congratulations, you won. All right, so that's basically it. I hope you all really enjoyed this, creating this small little fun game. Um, thanks for watching the video and a special thanks to the patreon supporters on patreon.com if you would like to become a supporter of this channel I will leave a link in the description below and if you just want the code you can also uh, go to my patreon as well thanks again for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video